What is going on, my beautiful people in the frag world? Welcome to PR Sense, where you'll always get uh, fragrance reviews for the common man that don't cost you a lot of money. Uh, so, I just got this one yesterday, and uh, it's very popular online. You'll see a whole bunch of reviews on it. It's, it came out, I don't even know, because they don't tell you. But uh, if you want to know what that one is and what I think about it, stay tuned, and I will talk to you in a bit. Thanks. Bye. Welcome guys to another episode of PR Sense. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this review. I hope you stay. I hope you subscribe and like and comment. If you're a recurring viewer, thanks for stopping by again. Um, so today, I'm going to review one that I've heard a lot about. I ordered it the other day and I got it yesterday and I've put quite a wearing on it so far. Um, and that one is by a company called Armaf, uh, house called Armaf. And it is Craze for Men. Okay, now it says manufactured by Sterling Perfumes. Um, and, but it is in Armaf. And it has a batch code. This one is 2021 of November. And so, yeah. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, the box is okay. It slides out. It's got a little holder there. If you do buy this box, don't try to grab the thing from the top. It actually has a little hole in the back where you can put your finger through and push it up. This is the bottle, which everybody says is the tackiest bottle ever. Um, and it says craze on the leather. That's what it looks like. Uh, the top is plastic. So not, not much there. Our muff has the most horrible tops. They're, they're plastic. They're, they're just bad. I wish they would get a little bit more, you know, sophisticated on their manufacturing of their bottles because they're plastic and you can tell they're plastic. Um, they're atomizers. This one actually is not too bad. I did see a few reviews of this where the atomizer just, just spurt out in one single shot like a Windex spray or something. Um, but this one, I got lucky. Now, I always worry with Armoff with their atomizers. I had the Club de Nuit Intense Man and the atomizer just died on me. And they're, the way their bottles are, are done, it's just hard to get the, you know, the top off. So it took me forever to get that damn top off so I could decant the bottle. Um, but using a very sharp knife and uh, some manpower, I, I was able to do it. But um, yeah, the atomizer on this one is actually decent and hopefully it'll last me for a while. Now, its main accords are almond vanilla, Powdery, nutty, sweet, fruity, floral, spicy, amber, and woody. Its top notes are heliotrope, uh, cumin, bergamot. Uh, middle notes are bitter almond, jasmine, lavender, and sage. And then the base notes are vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. It is supposed to smell very, very close to uh, Perfumes de Mali Pegasus. I've never smelled it, so I'm just I'm just reviewing this on its own accord, okay? Because I've never smelled smelled the Pegasus, but people talk about it. I researched it. It's like three hundred dollars a bottle, um, and so this was twenty one. Um, so if this smells a lot like it, then I'm sticking with the twenty one dollar bottle for now until I get rich and I can afford to do it. Um, but when you spray this, you get a ver you get a very nice hit of the heliotrope, which is a very um, flowery with a vanilla background kind of scent. Uh, you get the cumin, which is, is spicy um, and kind of like, you know, it hits you, but not, not a lot. The cumin's way, way in the background. And you do get um, the bergamot. Um, and the bergamot has that citrusy scent. So you, you get that at the very beginning. As it starts to dry down, what you smell the most is the vanilla and the amber and the sandalwood. Um, you do get a little bit of the floral, which is the lavender and the jasmine, but for the most part, it's the vanilla uh, scent that sticks out to me, at least. But guys, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. I mean, I really, really like it. I saw... <laughs> 
And I don't know if he got a bad bottle or if he really, you know, maybe after that he put out a new video, but Ash from Gen Sense about four years ago had a review on this. He trashed it so bad. Uh, I mean, he was clearly upset about something and I, I don't know if it was the dealer that he dealt with on eBay or the bottle itself and maybe I can only think that he just got a bad batch or just a fake bottle because he kept on saying that it smelled a lot like uh, um, Windex. I don't get that. I don't. Um, I, it, it smells a lot like vanilla and a very, very flowery vanilla. Its performance is good. Um, its longevity is good. You'll get a good four to six hours out of it. And again, if you guys have watched me before, you know that for me, I always have a problem with longevity. Like things just don't stick. I think the only one that sticks really well to me is uh, Wanted by Night by Azaro. Uh, but aside from that, yeah, they just don't stay. Or I become a Nosmic to it and they actually are there and I don't smell them. One of the two. Uh, but this one does last for a bit and it it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Yeah, I like it a lot. So that is our Moff. Uh, craze, I definitely recommend it for the twenty to thirty dollars you're gonna pay for it. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. Winter, uh, fall, cold springs. Um, I would mostly wear this at night. And then again, this is one that for the twenty-five and under, you may not like it. Um, but if you're a mature twenty-five, you know, nineteen-year-old go for it. It smells really good. Um, yeah, you'll get some snuggles out of this one and, and you should get a couple of compliments. Uh, dress it up mostly. Uh, you know, it's not a club scent to me. Like a club scent is definitely a Sauvage or, you know, one of those, but this is more of a dinner date night kind of scent, uh, where you want to feel sophisticated and, and nice. Um, that's what this is to me. And, but, but I like it. I like it a lot. So, Craze for Men, Eau de Parfum, 3.4 ounce bottle, 20 to $30 US. And uh, yeah, it's a good one. So, a couple of things for you guys before I go. I showed you a, a picture of, well, one of my paintings the other day. I figured I'd show you another one today. So that's this one. <clears throat> and this one, <laughs> it's called The Great Escape. Um, I don't know if you can see it all there. But yeah, I love that painting. Um, that's The Great Escape. Another thing too, um, a couple of people have asked me what happened to my arm. Uh, I lost it when I was three years old in an accident in New York City. Um, my father owned a grocery store and uh, took his eyes off of me for two seconds and had a meat grinding machine and phew, yeah, that's what happened. So that's that. Um, the other thing was me and my girlfriend were laughing, Brenda, we were laughing the other night because um, we were watching some of my videos and she was like, oh my God, you use your arm like you use your hand. So it's like that kind of thing and all that. And I never realized that. It's the funniest thing to watch me on video because it literally is like if I had a hand on this side because I, I use it like a hand. Um, so if it bothers any of you, I really apologize, but no, um, that's just who I am. So yeah, I'll do that and you know, that's that's what I do. That's what I have. So That's what I do Anyway, as always guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, please like Comment, let me know if you have craze and what you think about it um, See if uh, you hate it as much as Ash did. Uh, I like it and uh, you know, share this video too. So as always guys, be safe, be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, bye.